In the previous video, we started creating a CLI project in Rust, a cool CLI project, I would say, trying to replicate the grep functionality. Grep is a tool that you can use to search something, for example, inside a file. We also worked on the project structure. So here you can see the main.rs file and the lib.rs file. So we'll start from here. All the code will also be available on GitHub. And for now, we have a rep.txt file that we'll use to search uh, inside this, uh, this file. Test-driven development in Rust. What is test-driven development? Is what the name implies. We, we let our code to be created by tests. We made different lessons about tests in Rust, so I'll be quick here and I will not reintroduce how you can test your code in Rust, but I will use the test here in this uh, current project. I will start in this lib.rs file and let's say that we want to use a test-driven development to implement this search functionality. Let's write one test. We will write tests in this lib.rs file, cfg test, and then we can have something like this, use super test here, and then let's say that in our file we search and we find only one result. So I will show you because it's easier. Fn one result, for example, equal. It doesn't have to be our txt file, duct, and we have in the query when we type cargo run here, duct, something like this. In the context, we have text file that has these three lines. Okay, this is taken, by the way, by the uh, official online Rust book. We see that here we have an error that makes sense because this search function actually does not exist in this code yet. But this is the idea of the driven development. So we start with the test and then we do something in our code to implement uh, this uh, functionality. So we want that in case we have this file with these three lines and we search for duct, the output should be the line that contains this duct string or part of a string. An important step <laughs> will be here to actually write this, um, this function it's like this. This is the search functionality and we can see here that we have the search function with query and contents. Uh, an important part here is that here we are using uh, lifetimes. Uh, you can, uh, we made a lesson about lifetimes. Basically, we want to be sure that when we'll return a vector of strings, because maybe we will find this uh, query on multiple strings, so we'll make an example, no worries. We want the contents um, to still be uh, available. Cargo test. And this is great, the test is failing. And this is perfect because <laughs> actually this function, which is a search, it's not doing anything. <laughs> We're just initializing an empty vector. Basically what we want is that now we want this test to be successful. This is test-driven development. So now we need to basically write this function. So this function should get an input, a query, so a string that we want to search in and a content a file and then return a vector of strings that will contain the query for line in content line if for example we can type if line dot contains query and we, for example we can print this line okay here the compiler is getting <laughs> angry because we need, you see, you need to return a vector. We are not returning a vector here. So, for example, we can define a new vector here, let mutable results, and we can return these results. Cargo test. But the test is still failing because, uh, check it out, here we are not uh, doing anything here, especially if you can see on line 35, we should do something, we should return a vector of strings. If you have an idea of how we can solve this, you can also write a, a pseudocode, you can just write this in the comment. Results dot push. 
we push this line in this new vector and then we return this vector that might contain different lines for each line it has been pushed okay what is query this is a nice question a query is something that we are searching inside these content contents okay so for example let's let's read the test here query can be d u c t and we have this text with three lines rust safe fast productive and pick three in this case we want to return a vector that has all that has just one line safe fast and productive if we had another duct here like ductive i don't know something it will return two lines let's try cargo test here And indeed, now the test is passing. The process here is this. We wrote this test. Then we had errors. Great. We implemented this search functionality. Now the test is happy because in case we will use this search functionality with this text of three lines, we are expected to return just one line. Here in the run function, I want to also return this uh, uh, in the terminal okay so for example here for each line that it's returned in this search at config query at contents we can return this uh, we can print all the lines this is just for us for users because we want to actually read the output of this um, uh, functionality okay um, we are done and now we can try to use the grep functionality on this text. Of course, we can use this with any text you want. Cargo run space dash dash. Let's try, for example, to search for JS, the string JS in the file rep.txt. And here you can see we have this single line. You are the past JS. I'm the new king crowned. It's the last last sentence. If we try cargo run i rep.txt, this is important. We have a vector where all the lines contain this i. For example, we have here seven lines. They contain i. This rap song is a lot about i and me. <laughs> I will push this code on GitHub. Feel free to play around with it, also with different files or different texts. And this is the end of this lesson, quick lesson, about test-driven development. The important part is this one. Test-driven development, we start writing tests in this lib.rs file, and then we make the test successful by writing functions and make the functions do whatever the test is already telling us that is uh, correct.